You're watching Appalachian Axe Works on YouTube. All right, so this video here, I'm going to show you a little more behind the scenes what we going on, got have going on here at Appalachian Axe Works. Um, this is a plum double bit sheath. I've never made a sheath exactly like this one before, so this is a new foray for me. I've made some double bit sheaths in the past, but usually not this is quite like this one. So basically what I did was I made a direct copy of the axe head. So I'm not having it because the axe head's already mounted on a handle. So I'll show you that right here. It's got a nice plum double bit here. It's not been sharpened yet, but that's ready for that step. But I made a direct copy of the head, so that way I, can, I laid the pattern out off of this. Um, got the pieces of the pattern here. I usually make myself little notes on each piece just to, so I know what they are, where they go. You know, sometimes I just have a thought, maybe even, a, sometimes I'll even jot down, like if I'm thinking about a specific color, I'll even write it on there, you know, hey, I want light brown with antique or something. Sometimes I'll even put that on a pattern just for for my own purposes. But here's the front panel. Um, obviously, I put on there plumb double bit, front, this side up. Um, then I even went as far on this one as to put kind of sketch in where I want the rivets and the stitches. So here's the back panel. So you can see I even sketched in the the outline of the, the head. Then I got the welt. Just little things, little notes. Left a, an inch in here for the fold for the flap. Um, just put little notes on it. Here's the uh, sheath so far. I'm using nine ounce veg tan leather. Um, haven't decided on the color on this one yet. Probably thinking red with the antique because if you know a lot about plum, you know that one of their colors is plum red. So they, the handles and different things used to always be red on plum. So I'm thinking about going with the red. But this is what I got so far. Basket weave the front panel here. Should look really nice with that antique red. Got the welts. Again, put some little notes on here for, for myself for assembly. Here's the back panel. Back panel here. Um, as you can see, I got the, the, the front of the flap basket weaved in already, so it's ready to go. Um, and then on assembly, it's going to be like this. And obviously, like that. Got the straps cut here, so the straps will be in. Buckles are going here, and then I have a three quarter inch copper finish buckle. I think these came from Weaver Leather Supply. It's a nice, really nice, heavy buckle. But that's what I got going so far on this one. I'll probably, uh, once I get a little further, I might do another little video just showing you the next steps. Um, didn't do a video of me basket weaving because I was with this big area I just wanted to strictly focus on the basket weave so I make sure everything's nice and lined up but there you have it and that's a little behind the scenes here at Appalachian Axe Works we'll see you on the next one